All right, all right, all right. Welcome back. We are highlighting the Golf Club of Ohio today. Kind of an interesting one because I totally forgot to put the swing cams back on after this flyover. So it is going to be a quick video. We are still going to see the shots starting with an absolute chunk of a driver to start. Uh, and we're still going to talk about the Golf Club of Ohio and give it its due. Uh, even though we do not have the swing cams. We are just kind of going to breeze through this one and see how we do, how the course plays. It's a very interesting course. It's got tons of interesting bunkers, fairway bunkers. Nothing's really round or anything like that. Uh, you could tell right there. We got some huge trees that could become an issue if you're offline. This pin location is brutal. And look at all those bunkers. They're wood lined, which is really pretty. A little left off the tee here on four. It's our first par five of the day, it looks like. And 90. Ooh, just barely getting in there for a par. The outer sides of this kind of compound, I guess, here in Ohio has like a really good defined uh, tree line which I like it looks like there's some untreated growth and swampiness around some of the water areas which is cool uh, so it's got a lot of character I think it, the course designer who copied all of it did a fantastic job this hole is kind of unique you gotta cross this little stream I played it super safe and then chunked the chip. So, interesting move there. Another par 5 here on 7. Decent, decent drive. Decent second. And 86 to go. Looks a little left. Oh, it holds on for a birdie. Really cool water here. It's got like the water looks like a bunker. A little right. And a chip. Over to nine. We end the front nine on a par four, 415 yards. I am playing the blues here. That was a good drive. 150 remaining. Good drive and a good second. And ending the front nine at plus one. The back nine starts with a little dog leg left par four. Just going to punch out and lay up. 65. Ooh, didn't want to do that. That's tough. Double bogey. Three putt. Just a tiny green here on 11. That's that's not fair. Inches away from a birdie and dead straight the whole time. Just a little short. Another good drive there. I wish I had some of those on camera. I like to take the good drives and be like, what was different about that? Was it just the timing? Uh, did I get my hands in a different place? Was my elbow tucked in more? I'm kind of analytic that way. I thought this would be out of bounds, but it's just kind of like a little wall. Does uh, pretty much nothing. And we got another birdie there. So actually playing the Golf Club of Ohio pretty well. Plus 2 through 13. And another good drive. I don't know where these are coming from. That'd be so funny if it was just like someone else playing. <laughs> it's like, yeah, this guy's pretty good. No, this... I mean, it looks like my shots, even without seeing me swing, I'm like, oh, yep, that's pretty typical. But no, the drives are good. 150 ball speed on that one. It's like four or five drives in a row that I would have loved to see. We are getting to the end here of Golf Club of Ohio. We got a par three on the 16th with a little green 162. 
And we're going to birdie that tap in as well. What a good shot there. 17's a par 5, 550. There's not a ton of trouble out here. I think this is a pretty fair course. Looks like just a layup here, trying to get a good angle in. And we will have it. 144 needs a bounce. Uh, it'd be sweet to birdie that as well. Ending uh, on an approach over water. So hitting a, another good drive. 151.3 ball speed. Uh, might be a channel high in quite a while. Hit it. Oh, oh no. A really good finish there. Three birdies. Those were the white tees were at 6,900. That's a long course. 11 pars, three birdies. Uh, 280 longest drive, 151. Nine greens, nine fairways. Pretty good round there and a really fun course. Make sure to check it out and we will see you at the next course.